Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today. We've got another review on the foot birthday, Renato Sanchez. We're going to go through the Cardacito stats clips and summary as well as the SPC requirements for you guys to get your hands on him. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I upload and comment down below if you're going to be doing this card. And now, let's get into the review. So guys, this is the team that I use, Renato Sanchez. I played him at 4 3 one in that DM spot. And guys, overall, my first impressions, this card this card lives up to the hype that was built up around him, especially with those leaks that have come out earlier in the week. And I really love this card. I think he's really great in that deep spot, does the job that I would expect him to, and is as meta as I would expect him to be as well. Let's just get into the review. Renato Sanchez, 5'9", high, high work rates, right footed, four star singles, and five star week with five games played, three goals scored, and one assist. Overall, guys, I think this is all lovely, especially for a box-to-box -box midfielder, which is weird. I kind of used him uh, I do usually have a defensive midfielder who plays next to uh, one, uh, one one of them sits back and the other one goes back and forth between each box and Renato Sanchez has got the stamina and the capability in all departments to be able to defend and go forward and attack as well so I really loved those high high work rates too um, overall though guys his positioning wasn't that bad either though so really unaffected by that too uh, five games played three goals scored and one assist of course a decent return there are a couple of flaws which I will talk about in just a second guys but not a bad return as well from deep in midfield I put initially I put the shadow on him guys uh, and I think that was pretty good in terms of helping out in terms of his defending and his pace as well. He became very quick in the middle of the park. But guys, there's a key clearing flaw, which we're just going to right now, which is his finishing. Now, because he has really poor finishing, only 78, when you do get onto the edge of the box, especially with that 84 composure, what ends up happening is you put the shots wide, he doesn't quite finish them off, there are poor finishes as well. So that's something that I really wanted to remedy. So I went with the Gladiator in the last game that I played with him, and that really did help him out in terms of just what he was able to do shooting-wise. He scored a lovely goal for me as well, and took chances a lot better, at least put them on target as well. A lot of the time, they're going off target too. In terms of the other pros, guys, great physicality. Look at those physical stats. All of them are fantastic, especially for someone who's so small as well, capable of moving around really well. Uh, his physicality is tremendous. Uh, his dribbling is also pretty good. 99 balance is ridiculous. Uh, and overall, guys, I think this guy's skill set is very uh, unilaterally good. Um, the shot power is good as well. So really, guys, overall, I think this card plays really well. The, the cons of this card, guys, what I would say, the interceptions are a little bit annoying, uh, and so are the tackling stats, so you do need to boost them. And I think with the right chemistry style, of course, that can work. If you choose to play him further up the field, you will need to boost that finishing and maybe that passing as well. So that's something to bear in mind as well, guys. You will notice as well, he has 84 agility and 84 reactions. Now, that could be important in terms of how reactive you find the card. I actually found this wasn't that much of a problem for me. Because he's small, he doesn't feel so cumbersome, uh, and he's able to move around really well without a boost to that. So I actually didn't feel the need to touch that. However, guys, if you do want a super fast Renato Sanchez, then that will be something you'll need to look at. And of course, guys, the pace isn't the highest. But overall, guys, what you are getting on this card is a really great meta card that's able to do everything, uh, very good at everything as well. In terms of traits, he's got the flare trait, long shot taker, speed dribble, and technical dribbler. All lovely traits to have in that base attack midfield or even up front if you wanted to play him up there. Uh, lovely traits to have in there. And without further ado, now that we've covered all that, we're going to get into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys, before we get into the clips, I forgot we've got to cover the SPC requirements. 730k to do this SPC on the PlayStation. We will just update this just to check. It's actually gone up to 755 on the PlayStation 699 on the Xbox and 843 on the PC. So this is not a cheap SPC, guys by any means however when you consider where his road to the final card is at now i know that the road to final is boosted up by the fact that people are looking at where the card is going to go however i feel like this card is a very good level to where that would have been so i think a million plus for this card would not have been unreasonable in terms of how much i think he's worth but this 755 698 843 respectively is a very good value spc for what you get on this card i won't think you'll get better uh, many better box-to-box -box midfielders than this card and um, he'll do a job for you right until the end of the season uh just looking at the, the squads required an 87 rated squad 50 chem with one portuguese player for 320k that's the most expensive one of course an 86 rated squad with an inform and one bundesliga player for 266k and then this last one the first squad that you'll have to put in which is actually the cheapest of the three of course 85 rated squad with one Bayern player and this is of course all three expensive squads um so there's that's that's to consider that as well for the player in terms of when you're going to do this how you're going to do this the timing of it as well in terms of expensive players now the 81 plus player pick is gone as well that's something to consider too guys and now that we've covered that we're going to get into as promised before some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting to some of renato sanchez's clips what you guys are going to see 
is his general ability to, to play in the middle of the park to be able to do all the midfield aspects that you need this card to be able to do now the first thing i want to get into guys is his pace we're just going to go stat by stat category because i feel like that's the best way to go through this card his pace is okay guys i feel like it's it's 88 which is very good for a lot of central midfielders um so i don't feel like this needs too much of a boost um i feel that overall he does pretty well in the pace department and especially in that deeper role as well where he's able to cover the ground a lot quicker than a lot of central midfielders this wasn't too bad if we just go straight into the dribbling next guys and again this felt very good considering he does have some off stats in there i'm talking about mostly the reactions and the agility 84 reactions 84 agility and yet he did not feel a step off the pace at all he was very good very quick on the ball uh, very capable as well of doing everything i needed him to be able to do on the ball as well which leads me into the next part of his game which is his passing now guys his passing range is pretty good uh, it's reasonable enough it's not anything special i wouldn't be looking for him to be some sort of distributor or conductor of the ball like that he's very much an energy midfielder that you use in your team to be able to drive them forward uh, and create goal scoring opportunities however i wouldn't say that his passing is one of the key features that allows him to be able to do that for you in terms of what comes next we're going to talk about his defending guys now his defending is phenomenal i do think that uh it's partly boosted by what we're going to talk about next but i think if you do give him the right chemistry style as well he becomes very good in the defensive asset especially those interceptions because he does feel so dynamic at shifting directions and getting the ball which is a really helpful feature to have um i do feel like leading into that his physicality is such a big factor because of his aggression his strength stamina all of it leads to him just being so dynamic in that midfield and able to play uh, really well in there against anybody I and mean, whether they're bigger than him stronger than him it does not matter this guy will compete against anyone and that's really nice to have in a central midfielder the con side of this card guys which is the only thing i really would, did pick up on and you guys have noticed it maybe in a few clips already is his shooting now because of his 78 finishing and 84 composure when you get close to the box with this guy uh, or in and around the box you, it really does struggle to finish the chances off now outside of the box his longer shots are pretty decent actually um, and his shot power is very good as well so that's good to have but when you've got such poor finishing and really poor composure you really do need to help this card out if you are going to play him further up the field or use him as that box to box midfielder finishing chances late on the edge of the box as well he will need that helping hand because the finishing is not good enough to be able to carry him uh, over the line there in that regard now guys other than that that's the only con that i really noticed on this card i mean everything else although some of the stats may not look perfect he really did play well and he fits so well to the meta of course as he has done for the last couple of years which is what makes him so much fun to use as well um i think that this card really does play well uh compared to the 84 as well is a really big upgrade as well guys i have used the 84 now although if to some people it may feel the same i do feel like this card was a big upgrade and his high high work rates as well guys just to talk on that as well is phenomenal too because it allows you to just drive around the pitch wherever you want to go with that lovely stamina as well and not run out of gas late into the game as well as we get into the final few clips guys you're just going to see more of what i'm doing with Rapsan, sanchez keeping it simple transitioning through the play really keeping it quick as well and that's really what this card was all about the final two clips of course the goals that i scored with him and in this last one what renato sanchez is all about for me driving past players there creating some space getting into the box uh, and then getting a little bit of luck there and finishing it off so guys getting to this final Rato sanchez summary 755 on the playstation 698 on the xbox and 843 on the pc now guys if we just get straight into the key stats i think his dribbling stats are okay and um, i do feel like the agility and reactions weren't that much of a hindrance however if you do want a super fast reactive sanchez you will need to look at boosting that i think his pace could do with a little boost as well but his shot power and long shots are really good you've seen that in some of the clips as well the main pros the physicality tremendous physicality in this card guys and really is a powerful card to play with in midfield and really can do a job on a number of players whether they're big small or in between if i was to recommend a couch style guys it really does depend on how you want this card to play if you want to do more box to box finishing chances off then i think you're better off going with something that really does help him out in terms of his movement and dribbling and all of that stuff as well now you could of course just go for the standard hunter that would help his finishing out and his pace out and that does allow him to finish a lot better if you're going to play him deeper you could of course go with a shadow that does that to the card as well but i feel like if you're going to play him as a box to box and in between then you need to consider that his shooting and his defending both need help so for me the gladiator is the one that i went with that's what it does to his stats it gives him a really nice balance the dribbling isn't too bad guys you are able to use it especially in the base and midfield the speed of him isn't too much of an issue and i think the physicality as well does play really well into that as well 
Um, in terms of similar players, guys, this Renato Sanchez is a one-of-a-kind type of player. Now, if we see Hussam Alwar is sat there, I think Alwar is more of a techie kind of player than this card. I think Renato Sanchez is a much more physical uh, player than that card. Wayne Rooney-esque almost physicality with this card. And I think the technical ability is a little bit lower, but you do get some sort of meta boost with this card because of how well he does play on this game. In terms of link ability, guys, you've got some good links there. Perfect links, of course, to font. Strong links to, of course, uh, Portuguese icons as well as other Leo players like Bamba Yazitski uh, is in there as well. Miguel Lopez, Jonathan Davids, Future Stars car as well as in there. So some nice link ability in there as well. In terms of price comparison, guys, you can see he says just above Baby Hullet, just below Prime Moments, JJ Kocha, uh, Prime Icon Moments, Steven Gerrard, and Foot Birthday, Lucas Moura. If you ask me how does this card compare to some of these other ones, I think this is, again, tremendous value. You look at what you get in this card compared to all the other ones as well. You get such a well-rounded skill set and ability, and he fits so well, which is a key factor. It fits so well with the meta, guys, which is really important, especially in this card, that he was a big upgrade on his 84 rated card and i think he is i've used the 84 i think it's a very good card i think this card is a level up uh, and really is worth that spc which brings leads me to my final recommendation as you guys have just heard if you can afford this spc guys if you can link him into your team i would 100 recommend you do it uh this card is really worth it he will be with you until the end of the game and think about it like this guys if a renato sanchez card was to come out in tots time that card will easily be, a, say, let's say, a 90-91 rated card that will be above a million coins. Really expensive for you guys to put in your teams. This is a good way to get a Renato Sanchez card into a team that's higher rated, that is endgame, that will be able to stay in your squad past the tots time uh, and will still be very serviceable and doesn't need to. you don't need to pay over a million coins to get your hands on him. It's very affordable in terms of a Renato Sanchez card as well. So really is worth it, in my opinion. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. Until next time, I will see you all in a bit.